Since I lost everything, my dreams had been pitch black. I felt like a castaway floating in the void. Earth is on the verge of destruction. There was some mysterious calamity and more than half the population died. The survivors eke out a meager existence in the few remaining habitable territories. I can't remember when I started to hear the voices in my dreams. They kept promising me a way to save my planet, to save my home. <sighs> when you're desperate, you truly hold on to anything. Are you all right? Yeah, that was close. Are you sure the Blue Jackets won't patrol this area? These buildings could collapse any moment now. They won't follow us. Believe Aunt Avril. Let's go. We are near. I can feel it. That's the place. Let's find a way to get to it without breaking our necks. I don't know, Ave. Follow me and be quiet. Do you think we'll make it home by nightfall? Boring. Seriously, Ave. Yeah, sorry. How is your mom? Dr. Bateman is treating her. She'll be okay, but my father? I don't know. And it's blocked. Oh, perfect. Let's go home then. Come on, there's a second entrance near here. Avril. Pretend it's just a trip, follow me. Grip lied at the tube four years ago? God, I miss live music. Yesterday, Rabid Thomas told me that he found a working electric guitar in District 13. Rabid found a guitar? That scavenger. Man, I wish I could find a drum kit. I could sing! Me, you, and Rabid. Could you imagine? We could be like the only band in all of England? Exactly. Climbing the charts won't be so hard now that only a third of the population survived the end of the world. That's a creepy thing to say. You know me. My glass is half full. Well, a third full. Look! Do you remember the time we shushed those brats so hard the usher kicked us out? Oh, yes! It was during the Burning Streets premiere. Damn. I miss those days. Me too. Let's go. I don't want to be here when this place finally decides to collapse. We're almost there. will be screwed for good. You know that, right? I'm the only one that- Come on, Slowpoke. This is the spot. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done. No, Mila. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done yet. Why the hell do you have to be so reckless? We 
because I have something called faith. You should try it sometime. Ave, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I guess. Wait, this place is... Avenge your sister. Avenge your sister. Avenge your sister. Can you hear me? My name is Sun. Through my glory and pride, may you find the strength to recover what was lost, but never forgotten. My name is Moon. Through my wisdom and love, may you leave your mortals. of Earth. Your home. Our home. The planet is agonizing. Licking its wounds from the cataclysm, which took away everything you loved. The cataclysm caused by the collapse of balance. But now you answered our call. And by giving you what's left of our powers, we claim you as our champion. your strength, so she shall be by your side. Don't worry. We will protect you both. And we shall emerge victorious. No matter the cost. dream felt different than usual. I felt so powerful all of a sudden. That was just a glimpse of what you'll become. Thanks to our enlightened guidance, my dear child. Whoa! You guys are real. Are, are you talking to me through my mind? A and what is this place? Am I still in London? Have no fear, my beloved. From now on, 
We will always be by your side to guide you through your mission. Okay, this can't be real. Mila, if you can hear me, give me a big slap and wake me up. Your friend is not here, champion. But don't worry, you will be able to talk to her soon. For now, just focus on learning about your new powers. Your soul is still dazed by the communion with us. In order to restore your weapons, you need to find a fountain of fortitude. Of course, a magical fountain. I'm sure there are plenty of them in London. Concentrate and follow the soul fireflies that are connected with your spirit. They'll show you the way. So those dreams were true! Ah! I knew it! Take that, Mila! I can really save Earth, although I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do it. Concentrate, champion. Follow the fireflies and... Right. So, do I drink from it? Or do I have to sing some kind of mumbo-jumbo spell? I have to warn you, I'm pretty terrible at singing. Just listen to the echo of the countless souls that flow through it. Don't worry, it will come naturally. Here goes nothing. This is so cool, but um, how do I use this exactly? The artifact that you hold is our precious gift. It contains all the memories of your predecessors. Thanks to them, you'll be able to fight with extreme prowess. Uh-oh, uh, this doesn't look good. Are, are they real monsters? Actual scary man-eating monsters? Be ready for your first trial, child. And don't worry. You'll never be alone. Just a fragment of what you'll be able to achieve. Now, you need to search for the Fountain of Wisdom. By attuning to it, you'll recover your mental powers and be complete once again. Great! Oh, I'm so hyped up! There's truly hope for Earth! Wait for me, Mila! The Chosen One is coming to the rescue! here and how can i no focus avril one thing at a time fountain and mila first questions about the fact that i became a savior that talks with gods on an alien planet later
alien who speaks my language? Honestly, I don't know. And by the way, I'm a human. My name is Avril. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Sheila, warrior of the Builder Tribe. I'm in your debt, Avril of the Human. Don't mention it. I know it may sound silly, but can you please tell me where I can find a fountain of wisdom? Not now. My village is under siege by the Destroyers. I tried to fight them, but... The Destroyers? You mean those creepy little monsters? Yes, they are our sworn enemy. Please help us. Without you, many of my friends will die. We can sense the fountain is near the alien village. Go now, champion. I'll do what I can. Lead the way. Follow me. The village is nearby. Keep your guard up. They might ambush us. Right. Hey, have you seen another human? She's a smarty pants who always looks angry. to save everyone. Then I'll ask my father. We already told you, Chosen One. She's safe. Just focus on your task for now. I truly hope... So... Who are you talking to? Some superior being that lives inside my head. Okay. That was all right. is not so different from Earth after all. Hurt my people! 
Okay, I think that was the last of them. Whew, being a hero is rough. What? One of them is fleeing! Leave him. He'll tell his wretched friends that they don't stand a chance against the Builder Tribe. Thank you, warrior. You did a great service to my tribe. My name is Kahilas, Warden of Halaya. She saved me and the village, Dad. Maybe thanks to her, we'll be able to... Don't talk about that in front of everyone, Sheila. It's too dangerous. Oh, okay. So how can we repay you for your kindness? I need to reach the Fountain of Wisdom. Can you show me where it is? Interesting. Care to tell me why? Well... Oh, well, it's complicated. It all started with... I see. So you are the keeper of balance. Finally, someone will be able to fix the chaos that brought so much pain to our people. Wait, do you mean that Grisha had our same fate? I... I don't understand. What caused all of this destruction? Every planet in the galaxy suffered, but only Earth was almost destroyed. And don't worry, by mending the core, you'll be able to help them as well. And soon, we'll tell you everything about what happened that day. Patience, brave champion. Sheila, can you escort our warrior to the fountain? Sure, Dad. Come on, Avril of the Human. Follow me. Thank you, Kahilas. Godspeed, warrior. <clears throat> Whoa, this village is so lively. I just need to concentrate and... done, my sweetest lamb. Now that you have awoken your mental powers, you're ready to fulfill your destiny. Am... am I dead? Don't you dare! First, you need to move your sorry butt and tell me what the hell is going on. Mila! Sun and Moon were right, you're alive! Yeah, barely. I'm hiding inside some sort of cave, but somehow I listen to everything. Um... This planet is literally made of caves, but I'll find you, I promise. Are you talking to yourself again? Oh no, I need to call an apothecary. Don't bother. Remember the superior beings in my head? Now I have a new annoying one. You brought me on this suicide mission and you call me annoying? Oh, just wait until... I missed you so much, Mila. Uh, so what now? Do you want to come here or what? She's near the core of this planet, Chosen One. You'll need to find a way to get in there. Oh, right! The core! That's the whole reason we came down here in the first place. Lucky you, Mila. You're right where we wanted. Hooray! You want to reach the core? But that's impossible, friend. Izanik's powers are blocking the way, and... Izanik? 
He's someone you don't want to mess with. You won't stand a chance against him. Not yet. Please, I need to know. My friend is in danger, and I need to get there fast. In that case, you'll need to help us with another problem, with the destroyers inside the Valley of Lydia. Don't waste time with them, champion. Your mission to save Earth is our only priority. I would love to help you, but I don't have time. Sorry, but we can't do anything until we've got rid of those monsters in the valley. Eradicate them, and we'll do what we can to support your cause. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. Sorry, Mila. You'll have to wait a little bit longer. If I die here, my ghost will haunt you forever. No pressure. Thank you. Sheila, go with her and reach Gothra. She'll cover the details. Okay, show me the way. the destroyers are a real problem around here, huh? What are you doing here? And who is this ugly alien? Ugly? Have you seen yourself? Wait, Gothra, she's Avril of the Human. She helped us at the village. Kahila sent us here to fight. This puny creature fought against the destroyers? Don't make me laugh. This is unforgivable. Without our help, they would be doomed. I don't like her, but maybe it's better to keep a low profile for now. Listen, Gothra. in peace and I just want to aid your tribe with the destroyer problem that's all please let me show you what I can do <laughs> very well then the destroyers raided three of our mining sites during the night we need to eradicate them immediately or the village will suffer from the lack of resources okay and I just need to kick their butts and everything will be fine don't underestimate those creatures warriors ten times worthier than you have fallen by their hand Thank you. 
Jeez, why do you guys keep on fighting? Don't you? are destroying the bridge! Crap, I'm sorry. We're gonna fix it, but it will take time. I suggest you go back to the village and rest in the meantime. Thank you, Alien. I underestimated you. Yes, Gothra is right. Let's get back home. Wait, Sheila, don't go alone. It's too dangerous. Damn, this is going to take ages. Ah, stay positive. At least you don't have to watch spiders eating each other above you. Now, and I still don't understand how we can breathe around here. You spoke with aliens like a natural, and all you care about is that? talk to you about Isonic. Yeah, why is everyone so scared to talk about him? He's our chieftain, and he ruled over the builders with an iron fist for many years. He executed everyone who dared to defy his word and created a regime of terror. God, I already want to punch him in the face so badly. for you. Dad, we have terrible news. The destroyers made the bridge fall, and... Yeah, it seems like it's going to take a lot of time that I don't have. I'm sorry, warrior, but I fear that the bridge will be the least of your problems. What do you mean? Rizanak wants to meet you. He's impressed by what you did for us. Dad, no! Mm, I should have expected it. I'll open the door to his chamber for you, and please be careful. Meet me outside once you've finished, and make sure that no one is following you. I know that face, and something's telling me. 
telling me that you're going to do something stupid, Ave. as well, mighty Izanak. To what do I owe the pleasure? Don't push your luck, Abe. This guy looks really dangerous. Your power impressed me, and your help against the destroyers was priceless. Would you consider joining my personal army? If you lend me your powers, I could make you immensely rich and powerful. You would rule at my side for all. What blasphemy! Our powers are not to share with some dirty power-craving monster. Not interested. Sorry, I'm not suited to become a puppet. Oh, what a shame. My servants told me that you came here to help a friend, right? Yes, she's somewhere near the core. Would you kindly help me with that, or are you too busy torturing your royal subjects? Great, now he knows where I'm hiding. Thanks, Dave. I'm sure that your friend is the real reason you came here. You want the power of the core. That's none of your business. Appealing mortal from a useless planet dares to talk to me like that. Everything on Grisha belongs to me. And I will never let anyone near the core. Unless you decide to become one of my minions, of course. This conversation is over, but don't worry, big guy. I'm sure you'll find other minions. You'll pay for your arrogance with your blood, kid. Just wait and see. Okay, now that we are here, do you mind telling me what's going on? We've been conspiring against Azanak for a real long time, but no one is powerful or brave enough to stop him. But you, you might have a chance. We just need to help you to prepare to confront him. I don't know, Abe. It seems like they want to use you for their own purposes. Yeah, that may be true, but that guy needs to pay, that's for sure. And if I don't defeat him, I'll never reach the core. Why is he so obsessed by it anyway? Because his brother, Imlok, became the Guardian instead of him. And now all he wants is to become strong enough to take his place. His brother is the guardian that I'm supposed to beat? Seriously? Yes, he's the most powerful being on Grisha. And thanks to all the energy we've gathered, Izana might take his place soon. What's the big deal with becoming the guardian anyway? The guardian lives in symbiosis with the core to protect it. In exchange, he has given immortality, absolute power, and wisdom. Oh, great. One good news after the other. To be honest, I don't know if I stand a chance against Izanak. I can't even think about getting near Imlok. I acted cocky back there, but I don't know if I can make it. You want to reach the core to heal your planet through his powers. Am I right, Avril of the Human? Yes, and it seems that I will also be able to restore balance on Grisha as well. Or so Sun and Moon said. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, but I trust you, warrior. We both want Izanak down, so let us help you to become stronger. Sure. Do you have a plan? Meet us at the blacksmith's inside of the city. That's the first step. He's right. In order to defeat Imlak, you'll need to become stronger, and Izanak will be a decent proving ground for your skills, champion. Since he has proven to be a blasphemous creature, we have no objections to his demise. Listen, Ave, I know you want to help me, but... Don't worry, Mila. We'll find a way out of this mess, like we always have. Restoring Earth is all that matters, right? Yeah. Welcome, warrior. Let me introduce Gun Gun, our finest blacksmith. He's a true master in runecrafting. This little tadpole is the one who will face his onic? <laughs> That's interesting. Nice to meet you, Mr. To, um, Gan Gan. I talked with him, and we think he could improve your weapon by applying a mighty rune to it. Can you show it to him? Oh, 
Yeah, sure. By all the sacred dark here, I have never seen anything like that. What a masterpiece. Yeah, we told you. Do you think you can handle it? Who do you take me for? Of course I can. Or my name is not Gungan Softbelly with countless wrinkles. What kind of surname is that? The only problem is that to craft a rune worthy of such a weapon, I need a lot of fine crystals from the Valley of Letia. Let me guess. The destroyers control them, and I need to make a clean sweep. Don't worry. Leave it to me. <laughs> I like your spirit, youngling. Wheel. Fate. Turning. Winds. Change. I don't want to sound paranoid, but I think that there's a creepy old guy trying to spy on us. He's one of the Makalot. They are nomads who travel around to spread their wisdom and their ancient knowledge of the planet. New. No. Chosen. Awful. Omen. People listen to entire stories from them? <laughs> I would fall asleep in five seconds at that speed. What are you waiting for, lad? Bring me the crystals. We have no time to waste. Oh, right. On my way. Hmm.
Okay, now we should be able to gather these crystals easily. Looks like one of them managed to flee with some of them during the brawl. Wait, I think I already saw that little guy at the village. Maybe it's just me, but it felt like he didn't want to fight. Whatever, let's finish this work and go back to the village. Hey, Abe, once I'm out of here, you'll let me try your sword, right? You wish. So my weapons can be upgraded with runes, huh? That sounds pretty cool. Yes, they contain memories from powerful warriors who left their legacy even after death. They are amplifiers for the amulets we gave you. That's why it feels natural to fight, even if I never did it before. Yes, and some of your latent powers are still dormant. See what you've got, Gon Gon of the Fluffy Belly. It's Gang Gang Soft Belly with. Ugh, just give them to me. Do you think we could spare some of them for our warriors? We could use them to forge weapons for our allies. Yeah, but the final rune will be inferior, and we don't have time to gather more crystals. Well. I'm sorry, but I will need every inch of power against that monster. Never mind, giving you more power is all that matters. Good choice, Chosen One. This will lead us closer to our final goal. Okay, now that we're all set, I'll need some time to forge the rune. Come back later and you'll marvel at my art. Great. What should we do in the meantime? Why don't we visit the market? Maybe you'll find something useful for your mission. Sorry, Mila. I guess you'll have to wait a little bit more. No, Biggie. In a hurry, buy me a coffin while you're at it. You're such a drama queen. Oh. Now that the market is finally open, I can make some of our delicious recipes. Somehow, I lost my sense of hunger since I got here, but I wouldn't mind a pizza. What's a biba? It's made with wheat, tomatoes, cheese, and... Oh! Right! Of course! Delicious! You do realize that she probably doesn't know what you're talking about, right? Oh, so you you like it too! We'll make one together one day then! Bibba for everyone! Yay! I can't wait! <laughs> do you like our market, friend? Sure, there are lots of cool things around here. Do you think that the bridge will be fixed soon? Dad is working on it with Gothra. It will be ready soon. Oh, I just had an idea. An idea? I hope it's nothing dangerous. Sorry, friend, I have to go. I'll explain later. Take your time. We'll meet at Gun Gun's shop. Oh, okay. See you there. What's up with her all of a sudden? You again? Seriously, don't you have anything better to do? Clear. Vision. Important. Follow. 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 Sorry, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but... 
idiot. Follow me. Huh? Stupid brat. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, this is enough. Stop right there, damn stalker. <clears throat> that old fella is starting to get on my nerves. Do you guys think he works for Izanak? Guys? Can you hear me? Mila? Sun? Moon? Anyone? Space. Time. Collapse. Follow me. If you're leading me to a trap, I swear that... No. Merge. Dakira. Merge with this rock? You mean, touch it, right? Stupid. 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 You want me to merge with a rock? Fine, look. Happy now? Hmm. Ah! another form of life that I just created. Oh, what a pity. Where am I? Are you a friend of that stalker? Oh, no, you silly. That was just one of my countless forms. Sorry, old hag with a strange hat, but I don't have time for this. What? Ah! What did you say about my hat? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't eat me. Eat you? <laughs> nah. Even though you offended my precious garment, you're right about the old hag part. <laughs> Kids don't know how to have fun anymore. Are you for real? Have some respect, you little brat. I'm Batora, the most powerful being in the universe. Right. And why does the most powerful being in the universe want to help me? Because I'm bored. Any other questions? Uh, just bring me back to that Tahakira. Sure thing, darling. If you find any other trees during your field trip, just touch them, and you'll come back to me in a second. Come back soon. Next time, I'll make some tea. Finally, I'm back on Grisha. This planet is becoming weirder and weirder. Is everything all right, child? Yeah, it looks like you spaced out for a second after you touched that thing. What? I was teleported somewhere. Don't tell me that you didn't notice. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Anna. She's supposedly the most powerful being in the universe. I mean, you were here with me too, right? You were right here with us the whole time. What was that name again? The old hag with the strange hat? Come on, I'm not crazy. I swear, it was real. Abe, why are you mumbling? Just tell us her name. Ugh, whatever. Let's get back to Gangan. I think the rune should be ready now. Is she? No, it can't be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
again, guys? Is my new shining rune ready? Yes, and we also have some weapons to defend ourselves. I hope they won't be needed. Be sure to show those destroyers the power of my latest masterpiece, and come back to me if you need more runes. Nice, I love it. So, what do we do now? We lure him outside of his dark chamber. No, you need to meet with Corridor first. He was our previous guardian, and his spirit is still revered by everyone around here. Even in death, he is still extremely powerful, and through his grace, you might find the power we are looking for. Corridor? We haven't heard that name in a while. No, it's too soon. She's not ready. I don't understand. Why would he help me? That's something you'll have to find for yourself, but it will be worth your time, I assure you. He's a very ancient spirit, and he led our people for a very long time. Please, be nice to him. If everything goes as we hope, we'll finally be able to do what must be done. They are being pretty vague about this guy. I know, but this is our best shot for now. And honestly, I want to test my new rune on the battlefield. The bridge has been fixed, so you should be able to reach his cradle easily now. Good luck. Wait! I've got something for you. Uh, what's this? It's a biba. For you. Thank you, Sheila. I'll eat it during the trip. Search for clues around here.
Oh, this rose is... alive? It feels so strange, and yet so natural. That's the beauty of a burning wish. It can manifest something that it shouldn't be even possible. This voice... Are you Corridor? Yes. I was the guardian of this planet many years ago. This is the last remnant of my soul, where I dream about the glassy sky of eternity. So, you're able to speak, even if you're dead? I dream, so I'm eternal. Just like my desire to discover what's beyond this beautiful jewel we call home. I already know what you're here for, and I've already met another one of your kind once. He was a chosen, just like you. Another human? Yes, child of man, but my memories are now scattered around, and I don't recall who he really was. Find them, and in exchange, I'll help you to restore Amnesia and save your friend. Collecting memories? How? Look for dream fragments. They are scattered around my cradle. Great! So they can't be very far. Beware, though. During these endless years of sleeping, I also had dark dreams. And they took a physical form. It's like the worst possible thing that could happen. saw the day when everything collapsed. That's because it's also part of my memory. How? I don't remember yet. The grim veil of doubt still roams 
comes around my essence. was nearly destroyed, just like Earth? Oi, but the planet is completely intact. Is that some kind of omen? No, it really happened. The previous Keeper of Balance did that, defying the will of the gods. What? My predecessor did all of this? His name was Sorin, and he was our greatest failure. He was a human and a chosen one just like you. But instead of healing each core, he absorbed their powers, causing a mass wave of destruction throughout the universe, Earth included. We tried to stop him, but he became nearly invincible. The only thing that we could do was to save what was left by sacrificing our bodies. So Rose died because of him. Why did you let him do that if you were the Guardian? He shared his dream with me, and they were so pure. Soren taught me about the universe and what miracles were happening on other planets. For the first time, I felt so little and powerless. 
I wanted to travel, but I was chained to the core. He promised that he would come back for me, to show me this beautiful little thing called Rose. And so I dreamt of those for all these years. That's why your soul took the shape of it, even if you weren't able to see them. You dreamt of a rose, but you killed another one. How funny. Let's find the last fragment. I need more answers about this traitor. Abe, I know that's a lot to take, but please, don't let yourself be devoured by anger.
Aaron. I need to stop that bastard. Yeah, but he's kind of invincible. How can we do that? If we manage to absorb and heal each core, then you'll be strong enough to stop him. And after that, peace and order will reign again throughout the universe. We did not talk about him before, because you were not ready to bear the truth. It doesn't matter. You gave me the power to save my planet and to avenge all the people that died because of his greed. And for this reason, I'll be your blade, now and forever. Please, grant me your strength, and I promise I won't let you down. Adamantine will and unbreakable resolve. That's how a champion should behave. Now I can finally remember everything. Come back to me. And I swear that I'll atone for what I did. demand an explanation for what you've done. I dreamt about your homeland, and I looked upon the distant stars, wishing to see it one day. But my desire led to a disaster. And yet I regret nothing. This everlasting dream gave me more than I could even imagine. I died upon this mountain because I detached from the core, just to watch the sky. Wishing to reach something that was never meant to be. Soren merely showed me another way, and leaving the core was the right thing to do. And as you know, every dream requires some sort of sacrifice to be obtained. He does not deserve to live anymore. His dream led to the pain that you feel today, sweet Avril. Destroy his rose, and take your revenge. I want to take my revenge, but I honestly think he's just a misguided guy. Rose and everyone else died because of his egoism. But maybe Mila is right. He's just another victim of Soren's malice. What should I do? I... I forgive you. You're just another victim, just like us. Pity is a wonderful thing, child. But are you sure that this is the right thing to do? He's a culprit as well. If he had defended the core, maybe... We cannot reforge the past. But maybe he will be able to atone by teaching regions about coexistence and tolerance. You dreamt about a distant world full of love and without borders. And you can still achieve that here on the planet you call home. Sometimes we need to bathe in shadow to remember the beauty of our inner light. That's what Rose always said. And I want to believe in redemption as well. You finally understand why I did all of this, Chosen One. My dream may change, but my desire for peace will be the same forever. Here, take what's left of my wisdom I hope that it will help you to heal the wound of our planets. Thank you, Corridor. Your dream of peace and unity will live on inside my heart. Let's go back to the village now. I'm proud of you, Abe. You made the right choice. Here. 
Sheila somewhere safe. I beg you. Okay, this is enough. It's time to smash your rotten face to smithereens. Move a muscle. I got killed with this filthy trigger. And they surely don't want to give a trauma like that to this little child. Am I right? Uh. Leave Dad alone, you damn monster! Did you really think that you could get away with that little plan of yours? Pathetic. Just tell me what you want. Absorb the power of an Alsoa stone. Bring it back to me, and I'll forgive this treacherous world and his little daughter. An Alsawa stone? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. It's the last source of energy. I need to defeat him and take his place. It belongs to the destroyers, which hid it inside the spiritual realm. A realm that can be crossed only by them or someone with your skills. So, do we have a deal? No! No! Don't listen to him! Fine. But can I really trust you? You have my word. Now go. The little one knows where to find it. Meet me at the village once you've finished. Let's go, Avril of the Human. We have no time to waste. You know that guys like him never keep their promises, right? I have no choice. This can't be real. Dad. We'll find a way to save your dad. And I promise that his Anak will pay for what he did. Yeah, that bastard really crossed the line. down and please be quiet what is this place we are going to sneak into Grajazo, the village of the destroyers and steal all their sacred energy this is the only way to reach the crystal and free my dad what are you insane i'm sorry but i don't like it it's too dangerous now the road is clear what the hell is wrong with you Let me be clear. You are mad, Sheila. This is reckless and stupid. Mad, reckless, and stupid? <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Not now, Mila. from here. It must be in the cave. Are you even listening? I don't think we will ever get out alive from there. Oh, yes! Cave really dangerous is! See? I told you. Ah! They found us! Yes! We found you! Me lucky! What the? You? I don't know what's going on, but they had the chance to kill us. And they didn't take it. Maybe reaching the stone will be easier than I thought. I don't know. Something is definitely wrong here. Hey, wait! Yeah, stop. 
like a horde of gremlins, only when you're starving? Yes! Starving makes us angry! So, if I help you with that, you'll keep living peacefully, right? same time. So, where is the cave? Milo! Milo! I'll wait for you outside. Please be quick. What the hell is this stuff? Just stone! You need to hear it with your power! This is a nightmare. Think about the worst possible thing that I could find. Oh no, another one of those tricky mazes. What's the matter with friend? You hungry too? Let's say that I have problems with stuff that requires logic. Well, guess I'll die then. Okay, take a nap, Mila. I'll wake you up after I've finished. I made it. <sighs> what year is it? Nice! Nicey! Happy! Happy! Thank you, friend! No more hungry! No more angry! Really, how the hell can you handle a life of constant enthusiasm? If I do that, these fellows will die of hunger and... God, this is so cruel. Gather that energy and stop this madness, champion. Friend? Why don't happy? I'm so sorry, Sheila. But this is for the best. Sorry, Sheila, but I haven't absorbed anything. Doing so would have led to a massacre, and you know it. No! My father helped you, and you betray him like this? I 
hate you, Avril. I hate you so much. Sh Sheila, wait. Friend, run! Why? No dancey dance with us? Not now, Podara. I've got a tyrant to dethrone. give you that stupid rock. I'm loving the pain I 
can see it inside your eyes. I swear that I will erase every single inch of your existence from this galaxy. This is my oath. By the name of the sun and moon, you won't be forgiven. You are free to try. Let's settle this like true warriors. Enter my domain and face your doom. Sheila, I... I don't know what to say. Go away! You are the reason why he died! You're even worse than him! I hate you! I hate you so much! Oh. That monster is beyond salvation. He needs to be eradicated from existence. He poses a threat to everything that is sacred. Yes, but this is my fault as well. I feel so awful. You just did what you thought was right, Ave. Sanak is the only one to blame. Your friend is right, my beloved one. For this reason, killing him would be an act of mercy. He deserves way worse than that. His very soul has to be shattered. Do you mean that I could be able to defeat him inside his own head? Yes, his pride and his greed are so huge that they manifested inside a spiritual realm. If you strike them through your mental powers, he will become an empty shell. Wow, and what's the difference between those two realms? His pride will contain his obsessions and will be full of destroyers, while his greed will be a deadly maze. The choice is yours, child. It makes no difference to me. All I want is revenge for what he did. Remember that you are the keeper of balance, child. Revenge is not a feeling that we can allow nor consider. The only reason why he needs to pay is because he had no respect toward our mission. Saving Earth is our only true objective. That's harsh. But as much as I hate to admit it, they've got a point. So, my dear Avril, what part of Izanik do you wish to strike? Yes, I didn't expect anything less from a champion like you. His soul will be shattered forever. for a reckoning.
mind is more than enough to tear you into pieces, you bastard.
No, I didn't. Kahilas is dead, and it's all my fault. Why? Why did you help them instead of me? I hate you! Sheila, please. No! You knew this would happen! You can't save everyone, Avril of the humans! No one can! You chose to condemn my father to death! To destroy my life! I'm really sorry for what happened, Avril. Kahila's was a good soul and a pillar for our community. But you saved his people. Our people. I don't know. Believe me, Avril. As far as we know, Izanek would have killed Kahila's anyway. But now you have to go. Today you proved yourself. You are now strong enough to fulfill your task. Travel to the Pinnacle. There you'll find what you are searching for. Now that Izanek is dead, the gate should be open. I don't know. Maybe I should stay a little longer and help? That's not up for discussion. The time is running low and your friend needs you. You did enough for us. Thank you. I promise that I'll fix the core and save Grija. Now go, Keeper of Balance. The Guardian is waiting. same conscience that made me screw up with everything. Oh, uh, look, it's a perfect time for a cup of tea. Please, take a seat. <laughs> What's troubling you, darling? It's just that this is all so wrong. Suddenly, I learned to travel across galaxies and face hordes of monsters. But I'm still not able to make the right choice. How could I claim to save Earth if I can't even save the one beside me? There are no right or wrong choices. There are only decisions to be made. And each of them will shape who you really are. Sugar. So that's the fate of a chosen one? What's the point of all this strength if I can't change my own fate? Look at the sky, darling. There are countless souls up there, just like you and me. They are nothing compared to immensity of space and time. And yet, even the smallest particle can shape the immortal shell of the universe with its own will. Even if it doesn't want to. Maybe it will create new forms of life. Or perhaps it will destroy everything it holds dear. And yet, they will keep on going, shaped by their own actions, until the day they die and ascend into something new and beautiful. That's... cryptic. <laughs> That's life. Remember, your decisions are a mirror of your soul, and it will determine who you want to be. Forget about the good or bad nonsense. I don't want to take any other decision. Never. I'm afraid that's impossible, young one. I can see your journey is yet full of them. But remember, you can determine your choices, but you can't control the consequences. So, how's the team? Well, pretty good. What was in it? It's a mixture of dried petunia and roses. Petunia? 
It's an exquisite sandworm. You won't find on Earth, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yuck, that's gross. That's your rationality talking. And yet your body loved its flavor before you knew what it was. <laughs> Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> well, I think you should go now. Your friend is waiting. Oh, maybe there's something else I could do for you? Ugh. I don't think I'll be able to accept everything that happened. Even if I manage to fix everything by reaching the core. Thanks anyway, for your kind words. They helped. It's a pleasure, dear. Come back soon. I'll prepare some cookies. So, this is the pinnacle. The core is near. I can feel it. Mila, did the spiders... Uh, uh, really funny. The Guardian should be here somewhere. Any sign of it in that cave? No, but a moment ago I saw the biggest bug ever. It was like a disgusting minivan and... Mila? Mila! N no, I need to find her. Now, but how? Take a deep breath, child. Your bond with her is strong. Seek within your soul. Focus. Focus. It worked. Is this the place where they brought her? Stupid spiders, you'll pay for what you've done to Mila. destroy this stupid web. Mila is inside here, and this is also the only way to reach the core. What a coincidence. As you may know, fate operates in the weirdest way, my child. Ah! Okay, maybe that wasn't my brightest idea. one of them. But this thing is still a problem. Mila is inside their nest. But I can't destroy it with my powers alone. In order to do so, you'll have to power up this ancient pillar, just like Ahilas told you before. It's connected directly to the core, so it has an incredible power. Wait a second. 
There's something written on it. Through physical form, a boxed ruby shines, bursting through the amethyst wisdom and the diamond perfection. Inside a spirit form, an emerald light may purge the onyx malice, unveiling the truth behind the mysterious sapphire. Hmm. Perhaps I should hit the stones in a specific order? Not only that, you'll also have to find the catalyst to activate the pillar. We can feel their essence throughout this place. There should be four fragments. Ugh, what a pain. Don't worry, Mila. I'll be back in a second. This should be the thing that we're looking for. Three more to go.
We're getting close. Need to get back to that thing. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to activate it. But how? Should I follow the writings on that stone and try to solve the riddle? I could also use my spiritual powers to force the reaction. But by doing so, I will alert all the primordials around. What should I do? Okay, so first of all, I should read the writings on this stone once again. Through physical form, a boxed ruby shines, bursting through the amethyst wisdom and the diamond perfection. Inside a spirit form, an emerald light may purge the onyx malice, unveiling the truth behind the mysterious sapphire. What should I do? Okay, so first of all, through physical... Inside a spirit form, an emerald light may purge... The took so long. Oh, Ave. Even though I was scared as hell, I knew that you would rescue me. Because even if you became some sort of demigod, you're still my silly best friend. What the? The Guardian is rising, and the entire planet is roaring with him. Go forth, Chosen One. The core is calling. Okay, it's showtime. Stay with me, Mila, and everything will be all right. Yeah, but be careful. I think that the worst is yet to come. The path is free! Finally, we can reach the core! Yes, but if we go there, I fear that we won't be able to come back. Hmm. Now's your time to shine, Chosen One. Bring our light to this world and save the galaxy. Yeah. Let's save the Earth together, Mila. Let's say that you fight, and I'll pray that this monster won't turn you into an apple burger. Yeah, you'll be my cheerleader. Give me an A. Give me a V. Give me a break. <sighs> Let's go. And please, for once in your life, try to be careful.
Well done, child. Now you'll finally be able to reach the core with your sweet embrace. By doing so, you'll get one step closer to the salvation of the Earth. Yeah, but is this really going to restore Grisha as well? I... I can't make this decision alone. And that's why you bring friends on your suicide missions. Let's do it, Ave. It's time to retake our lot. What? What happened? Did we make it in time? Yes, this is Huav, home of the Wind Corps. And here you shall overcome your destiny all over again. Welcome to Huav, the planet of air. I just arrived, and the first thing I do is literally eat sand. It doesn't start well. Wait a sec. Did we make it on Grisha? What happened? We teleported you two right after you restored the core's balance. Time is running low, and we must move fast. But Grisha will now prosper, and every tragedy will be just a memory. And all thanks to you and your friend. Right. Where is Mila? Hey, Avril! Down here! Mila! Something is wrong, young one. Someone is interfering with our powers. Listen carefully. To reach Wolf's core, you must ascend to the Jade Forest. We can feel a city near it. A heresy. Go, champion. Restore our presence and reach the core. Heal it and restore back. What the? Avril! Yes, I'm coming! to reach the core. We must find a way. But where to start? We landed in a possibly endless desert, and this storm won't make traveling any easier. What is that? A mill? Let's hope whoever built it is friendly enough to help us reach the core. Here we have no better options. So we've reached the core. Great. Does it mean that everyone stopped fighting just because of that? That's what Sun and Moon said. I just hope Sheila and the others are okay. Hey, Abe, did you feel strange too? After they teleported us away? Yeah, even though they brought us here in a second, it feels like a lot of time has passed.
lizard thingy. We see Aya. Now you go down, down. Wait, we don't want to harm you. I'm here to restore balance. I just need to reach the core and... Calm, chill, brothers. This one wants to speak with the giant monster. Greetings, tall one. This one's name is Li Fei, shaman of the Xiaia tribe. You are inside Wuxian Desert. And this is Bihu, our beloved sacred city. Li Fei. Yes? Can I hug you? No! No! Ah! I'm a great, powerful shaman. You, you need, need to respect me. Okay, okay, calm chill, shaman. I'm Avril, and she is Mila and we respect your spiritual position. We need to find a way to reach the core, but we don't know how to climb up. That's because it's impossible, unthinkable. Since Great Fracture, Huav has been divided split into five Lingyu, closed realms that are impossible to reach without artifacts made by ancient deity gods. You mean like this one? What? This one never saw something so powerful. Where did you get that? Oh, did I forget to tell you that I'm the Keeper of Balance and was sent here by Sun and Moon? Yeah, you were too busy trying to pet their spiritual figurehead. You are chosen one? Ah, come, this one helping. Welcome to be here, stranger friends. It seems cozy. This is home shelter. This one said before, we want to help reach core. But if Tall One wants to ascend, the old mill wind catcher needs to be fixed. We need energy to activate the ascending wind. And the mill wind catcher is the only generator we have here. Okay, what do we have to do? Go with you, Kay. He's one of our best hunters. Free our Baozang from evil Yaman spirits and search for spare parts to fix the mill wind catcher. What's Baozang? Let's use to gather precious, valuable scrap from Sky. Just follow now. Quick, quick. Stay here, Mila. I can still feel our connection with Sun and Moon is intact, even if we can't communicate with them. First Bozang. You use nets to gather scrap? Why? Because it's the only way to catch things that fall from sky. Hunters like this one come here to gather and build things. Things that fall from the sky? What do you mean? A city levitates flies near the sacred forest. Sacred forest? Maybe that's the city Sun and Moon were talking about. Careful, friend. Our presence awakened the enemies. Prepare to fight battle.
finally, we reached came to right place. Quick, quick, help this one. <laughs> it's too late. Prepare for battle, my friend. <laughs> and knows exactly where to look. Let's go, go! No time to lose. these shiny bright parts. Secure place from enemies. You a bravely tall fighter warrior. And this one gathered all scraps needed. We are ready to fix the mill wind catcher. Let's go. After you, buddy. will fix Millwind Catcher in no time. So, do you think we can trust them? I don't know. They seem okay, but we would have no choice anyway, am I right? I think so. What's that noise? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Ritual. Warrior is 
brave and strong. So now the ascending thing is active? Not yet. You must wait rest until tomorrow for energy to be gathered. But let's use this time to teach you something about Journey Above. Yes, yes. Okay, I guess. Come to this one when friend is ready to listen and learn. is ready to listen learn let's learn this one will give you all information about journey mission <sighs> how long do we have to wait for the ascending thing to store enough energy all night it sounds like too much time you don't have cinemas on this planet right <gasps> oh my <gasps> i just got an idea you okay take me to the highest point of your town Ave, meet us there as soon as you finish with the briefing okay it's time. Follow this one. So, most important thing that all one needs to know is that when life ends, soul needs to reach core to reincarnate. But first, they must travel the path of redemption inside three realms of the dead Lingyu. Going there was very dangerous for mortals, but friends must do it. Wait, do you mean that I need to go through three realms of the dead? Oh, God. I don't think I can make this alone. No worry. UK said that friend's skills were really bad awful, so he's going to come as well. Helping desperate chosen is great honor for Xiaoyan. Oh, cool. How kind of him. I kindly accept his offer so that I can kick his... Anyway, what happens to souls when they reach the core? Now follow this one. one talk about three realms of the dead link you first one is sacred holy place of Leon Yu. deafening silence and its snowy peaks so it's a mountain Leon Yu is a body of an eternal ancient once a core guardian now covered with snow here lost souls travel to purify themselves before reincarnation many brave man Xiaia tried to explore its paths but it's extremely dangerous, deadly, for anyone different from a chosen one. How lovely. Well, I'll do my best to watch UK's back, despite what that little brat said. This one, thanks, friend. Helping each other is important, necessary to reach core and save Guaf. So, after Leon Yu, Tall One will visit explore Guang He. Unsawed an unknown river. No Xiaia managed to explore it. But legends say it's a place where souls face truth inside them. The truth inside of them? What do you mean? Friend will discover face it soon. Third and last of realms Ling Yu is Yu Lin. The place where I'll find the core, right? Yes. Each soul in Huav originates, comes from leaves of big, huge trees of Yu Lin. When leaves fall, wind carries them around. And if they reach mortal realm, they get new life and body. And what happens if the leaf falls in another spiritual realm? They become angry mad spirits that eat many innocent souls. You don't say. Once again, follow this one. Chosen one friend. Long time ago, there was another city here in physical realm Ling Yu. City of Wan Mei, where Yu Xuan people lived. So, the scrap that you're gathering is. Hey, is everything okay? You look gloomy. This one is only nervous, excited for friend journey. But Tall One is going to fix Great Rupture, no doubt. Please. Take care of UK. He very good explorer, but very bad warrior. Don't worry, Li Feng. And thank you. Now, let's reach Mila and UK. That explanation took ages! Hurry up! Right, <laughs> 
chosen one. Oh, here you are. So what are we doing here? We're going to give this little alien a taste of some human legends. Yes, legends, heroes. What are you talking about? You okay, my friend? You are going to witness an ancient human ritual where young human warriors used to gather around a magic mirror and bathe in the reflection of the incredible deeds of our greatest heroes. I fear some sand must have slipped into your brain, sis. A ritual called Movie Night! Oh yeah, let's do this. This one is so excited! So friends have magic mirror? I'm afraid not, little buddy, but I'm known to be one of the best, maybe THE best storyteller ever. You can ask. Yeah, ask me, Yuke. You will be amazed by what I could tell you about this incredible storyteller. Don't listen to her, she's just envious. But enough talk. Let's begin! Ugh. Our story is about a young woman called... Let me guess. Avril? What? No! The world doesn't spin around you, chosen one. Our protagonist is called Eleanor. She was the first of four children. She lost her parents, so she had to take care of them all. This one is sorry. Don't be. This situation made her strong and determined making her fulfill her dream, exploring space. Uh, like chosen one. Yes, like me. Eleanor was a space sailor. No, the captain of a ship that could travel from planet to planet. Yes, magic ship. A spaceship. Once, while traveling back to our planet, her ship got infested with terrible giant insects, which used human bodies as an incubator for their spawn. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh come on, really? Have you already run out of creativity? Ugh, could you please stop interrupting my narration? Anyway, Eleanor couldn't let these monsters reach Earth, or it would have been the end of the human race. This one knows these giant insects. There are some on our planet. This one is joking. That was the opposite of funny. Oh my god, my heart. Please, more story. Okay, okay. So, our heroine was the only one left alive on the ship with no escape pods left. By the ancestor's breath, this one is thrilled. So she had to risk everything, confronting the dreadful insect queen herself. Whoa! <laughs> in one last duel. And did human heroine win? Of course she won. And the human race was saved. This was amazing story. Great storyteller, Mila. A question. Will there be a sequel? Of course there will. My Via and the pool won't pay for themselves. This one knew a hero. Oh, yes! It's your turn, UK. Tell us about your hero. This one... Maybe this one thinks another time. Why? What happened? Now go. Time for ritual comes. <sighs> okay, UK. waiting for you. Everything is ready for ascension. UK will be guide to your destination. Abe, I'll stay here. You need a way to communicate with Li Feng. Wise choice. This one must be sure you two reach your core. Ready? Okay, let's do it. UK, the tribe's destiny is in your hands. May the sacred wind clear friend's sky.
gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! Adventure journey awaits! is covered in snow, and yet I feel warm? Sun and Moon's influence is intact. This is Lan Yu. The deafening silence, the place from where souls begin their ascension, I know. Li Feng told me about it. Li Feng knows lots of things. This is a very important moment of this one's life. Does friend warrior like it? This place is beautiful, UK. It really is. Let's go now. Cross this. Look, that's Bell of Hexy, and this is Bell Oracle. Yeah. So what? Bells of Hexy guide souls to ascension if play correct.
feeling that something is troubling Li Fang. This one is sure old Li Fang is just worried for this one's life. After all, journey is very dangerous, deadly. career with those bells. Mila, do you think there's any punk rock bands on Earth looking for a bell player? I doubt it. I mean, I don't think there's any punk rock band at all right now on Earth. That's what I'm fighting for. Playing bells in the dirty, noisy punk band. Chosen one speaks alone and says nonsense crazy things. What the? Quick, the peak is near. Very ancient old Ziaya settlement. Ziaya tried to explore spiritual realms, Ling Yu. Ziaya tried to go further, but exploration ended died here. Very dangerous, deadly. He really does like how that word sounds, doesn't he?
friend and ancient Ziaya. This one salutes, greets you, sister. This one's name is Yuke. This one salutes, greets you, brother. But this one can't remember her name. Can't remember the last time she had visits. So you must be one of the explorers I heard about. Maybe, giant being. This one came countless years ago. Or maybe it was months. This one finds it hard to remember. Why don't you go back to Bihu? Once the ascending path is taken, no Xiaia can go back. You can't go against the flowing wind. What? Yuke, why didn't you tell me this? No worries, brave warrior friend. You heal Core Heart of Planet, and this one will go back home. He doesn't sound very convincing. Does he? That lament again. Oh, no worries, friends. Is Leon you? Do you mean that the mountain is screaming? Sister means eternal ancient is screaming. Once he was core keeper, we are wandering on his restless corpse. Wait, are you guys on the back of a giant monster? And you act like it's no big deal? He seems in pain. Yes, yes, again, giant friend. This one used to take care of him, but now he suffers. Something is corrupting breath and sacred wind is interrupted. What the hell are you talking about? Ancient's breathing generates ascending wind, which is interrupted because something evil bad corrupted it. But this one can feel tall one's power. Great warrior can heal ancient one's balance. Ugh, why does everything seem so complicated when you're abroad? Sister is right, giant friend. The sacred breath of Lian Yu is the only path to ascend next realm Ling Yu. Okay, I'll do it. Let's go. May the sacred wind clear the sky, warrior. Mr. Dead Dragon, whatever. Let's do this.
It seems no good. This is terrible. What happened? This one doesn't know. I'm a natural. Avril, really, sometimes I'm amazed at myself for not having yet succumbed to the idea of suffocating you in your sleep. Oh, shut up. I know you like when I act like an idiot. Act like an idiot? <laughs> act like? Let's go, friend. This one knows the way. Exactly. This is Guang He, last spiritual Ling Wu of Huav. If souls survive truth inside themselves, they can reach core and live again. Li Feng told me something similar. Do you know what it means? This one is not sure. He has never been here before. talker, right? Silence is sacred, huh? wow. especially before death ascension. This mist makes this place so eerie. Do you have any clue about how to pass this realm? Writings talk about the sending wind blown from a sacred well. A sacred well, sure. And I bet it won't work until we do something, right? This one doesn't know. This one fears Island will bring answer. Does anything of what he said make any sense to you? I'm not sure. You surely know a lot of things for someone who always lived inside a desert. This one studied and prepared for a very, very long time. Shaman's told me everything needed for this one mission. Wait, do you have a mission? What mission? Oh, no, no. Guiding the Chosen One is this one's mission. Yeah. Something is wrong. Sure it is.
one thanks you. Oh, silent one. Yes, thank you. For taking us here, oh, silent one? Yes. He's a nice guy. This one, by your side. easy to find. Maybe too easy. So, what now? This one doesn't know. Aspiring Ascendant. Again? You passed the Guanqui River. Is it because you are worthy? Or maybe it doesn't matter. For now, only those who have seen the truth behind the fog they put in front of their eyes will be allowed to pass. Search for the revelations hidden deep within your soul. Embrace them and you will become light as a feather, ready to ascend to our stream. Prove your courage. Confront what you have avoided this far. Throw away the stones engraved upon your soul. And then you will be worthy. Sure, these spiritual realms love talking in riddles. I should look for a revelation inside my soul. How should I do that? This one thinks the answer is somewhere on Foggy Island. Yeah, maybe you're right. Staying here won't be of any use anyway.
not mad, Avril. We are inside the realm of death. Maybe I can save her. Maybe she is not gone. Hey!
missed you so much. I knew you couldn't have gone for real. I knew you couldn't be dead. Chosen one wants a bed and a cold lemonade. What am I saying? I can't even feel thirst. Aid, you don't sound right. Try to recover, please. Yeah, sure. Could you please say something? Anything, please. This one thought friend Chosen wanted to rest. Yes, yes, I want to rest, but I hate silence. I can't stand silence. Silence forces me to hear my thoughts, and that's something I won't do. For this one, silence is sacred. It reconciles us with the wind, makes Yaya feel words of ancestors. I know, I know. Right, okay. You can't imagine how lucky you are to actually know where your dead go. Is it different in Friend Chosen Homeland? Yeah, I think. I don't know. No one knows. Is famous hero Friend talked about still alive? Who? Oh. Oh God, yes. Sure, well, sorta. Yes, he is alive, sure. He defends his people, or whatever. Father defended the Aya tribe, but died against enemy. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. This one didn't tell. Who is the enemy? You swan. Li Feng told me about them, but he never said they were your enemies. Ziaya and Yuk Swan once lived together on Material Plane. Yuk Swan worshipped Sun and Moon, just like Brave Warrior Friend. Yuk Swan wanted more power, more energy. It was no Sun and Moon Friend. Yuk Swan made decision to create Fracture and move Yuk Swan City through winds suspended between spiritual planes. So it wasn't a gift from Sun and Moon. They did it. But how? Yuk Swan Chief, Gao Chao, and Yuk Swan Nobles did rapture with magic. Now Gao Chao drains Jade Forest Yulin of sacred Shuye Sap. It makes him live forever. But draining it, he makes the Aya land a desert. He forces this one's tribe to survive from flying city scrap. Yuk Swan people are enemies. One never knew his father's last words. It's time to go.
Okay. It's time to see this sacred jade forest. Friend Chosen, wait. What's happening? This one saw something on this island, and this one hasn't been honest with friend. What do you mean? This one has secret mission. This one is sorry. What? I knew something was wrong! Next destination is Wan A. Home of Yuke Swan. Yuke Swan City flies near Jade Forest with huge magic crystals. This one must sacrifice to sabotage Yuke Swan magic crystals. The winds and natural life cycle will be restored again. Ziaya Land will be desert no more. I knew! They've been lying all this time! I trusted you. Why are you doing this to me? It was only way to save tribe. Crystals are very powerful. Very unstable. This one will destroy them, and city will fall below. Everyone will die. N no, there must be another way. Do not worry, friend. This one knows Chosen One's mission. Friend will have enough time to reach core and heal it. Yuke, healing the core will restore your planet balance. Let me do it, and you won't need to sacrifice yourself. Your friend, Yuke admires Tall Warrior. But this one can't take risks. This is Ziaya's only chance. This one will do anything to save his tribe. You can. Yuke Swan must not see you, Kay. This one will hide in shadows. Last thing, friend. Some help could be needed when this one reaches crystals. This one won't expect friend to help him. But tall one won't be hated anyway. Good luck, Chosen One. No! No! Ace just let him go. They lied to us. We don't owe them anything. Stating home is all that matters. Yes. Damn, I need to go. Keep your eyes open. You seemed panicked down there, so I thought I could use another cup of tea. Listen, old hag, I appreciate your concern, but I don't have time. And yes, I'm in complete and utter panic right now. And the fact that sun and moon are still silent is the cherry on top. Oh, but they are fine. And you don't need their guidance to do what's right. Wait, so you know the reason why I can't speak with them? Yes. So, are you going to tell me? No. Sugar. God, why does everyone keep hiding things from me? It's for your own sake, darling. I already told you. I'm here just to watch your progress. Take this time without them. To start thinking with your head instead of being carried by the judgment of others. What do you mean? I always took every decision by following my own heart. Are you sure about that? Or did your final decision get stained by the desires of those around you? Uh, free will, die. That's all you need to reshape the universe. Go now. The core is waiting. Come back here if you need me. Chow, High Priest, and Chieftain of these good people. We welcome you to Wanmei, the Jewel of Wa. Gao Chow, that's the one who messed up everything on Wa. How do you know me? 
As you will soon discover, we are devoted to the deities you are representing. We sensed you when you arrived on the planet, Avril. I mean, chosen one. I'm sorry we didn't have enough time to prepare an adequate ceremony, but I hope you will appreciate this little welcome committee. Now, if I may ask, what brings you here? What can this Yuxuan do for you? I need to reach the core, and I need to do it fast before... Oh, yes, just as I imagined. We can arrange that, but it will need some time. I don't have some time. I have to go to the core now. I'm afraid that's not an option, champion. In the name of Sun and Moon, I... I understand your urgency, Chosen One, but it's quite dangerous at the moment due to the perilous winds around it. Taming them will take a lot of effort. Until then, please, feel free to visit Wan Mei. The Young Lo Wei will guide you through the city. Yes. I mean... Sure, it will be an honor, chosen one. I think you found your number one fan, Abe. Perfect. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to make sure everything is in order for tonight's banquet. Enjoy your stay. A banquet? Sure. Oh, luminous one. For when you return from your visit from the core. Oh, sure. Now, please, follow me. You will find there are a lot of your supporters. I'm so thrilled to meet you in person. <laughs> oh. among some of the guys I met during my journey through here. Avril, please keep a low profile. The core is near and we don't want to make them mad. Oh, you mean the Ziaya? Yes, they hate us for what they call the Great Rupture. Well, they hate us all, I know. Please, feel free to visit the district and come back to me when you are ready to continue our walk. in one. Sure, let's go. Excellent.
between sun and moon. These statues keep us connected with the gods and help us protect the entrance to Yulin, the Jade Forest. That's why it's so heavily guarded. So these statues prevent anyone from entering the core area. Mila, it seems our connection got worse when I approached this area. Sounds fishy to me. I'm sure these statues hide the reason why I can't talk with sun and moon. We should check it later. Choose one. Did you say something? Oh, oh no. I, I mean, I was thinking that I was having difficulties reaching sun and moon since I got here on Hoff. And, well, it just so happens that I'm very <laughs> close to the gods. So I was asking myself that maybe even you fervent worshippers of sun and moon are having the same, well, network issue? Oh, direct connection with the highest deities is a privilege only the Yuxuan have. In fact, it was so that Sun and Moon gave Gao Chao permission to reach this realm and instructions on how to build the crystals. Do you really think Gao Chao and the other Yuxuan have no personal reasons for putting their wings on the Jade Forest? Absolutely. Gao Chao and the other Yuxuan work for the greater good. My father used to tell me that we have been elected as their chosen people. Believe me when I say we are good, devoted people. We firmly believe in the communion with Huav, and we would have never taken advantage of a situation like that. Damn, he seems convincing. Maybe the communion people don't know the whole truth about Gao Chao and the Yuxuan. Now please, take your time visiting the area. I'll be waiting here for when you're ready to continue our little tour. Yes, it's me. I'm amazing. Listen, why are you blocking the passage to the Sun and Moon Sanctuaries? Reasons of public security, Chosen One. Isn't that strange? I mean, I am the voice of Sun and Moon. I'm sorry, Chosen One, but these orders came directly from Gao Chao. Figures. Chosen one. I'm ready. Superb. Here, behind this gate is Yulin, the realm of the Jade Forest, the last of the spiritual cycle of life. That's the only reason why I came here in the first place. Can I get in there now? Patience, Chosen One. I'm sorry, Lo Wei, but I am confused. I heard you are corrupting the Jade Forest for your own purposes. Not a great reference letter, if you ask me. Please, uh, I don't want to offend you, but you are talking nonsense. We are the keepers of Yulin. We work hard to preserve and protect it. Again, maybe he's a good actor, but he's bloody sincere. I believe that Yuxuan are the real scum. I don't know. Way. The West District's crystal has been destroyed. They say it was a Xiaia. A Xiaia here in Wanmei? Impossible! The West? By the gods' will, my family. Sun and Moon again, but do you think UK will survive? Who cares? We need to save Earth, not UK. Besides, not helping him could avoid a massacre. But... Abe, think wisely about your next move. You know what you're 
you're doing. This one doesn't fear death, monsters. This one will give his life to save Huav. You crazy lizard. I would never leave a friend behind. Okay, come with me. I'm going to the core. This one still has to set everything here. But no worry. Friend does magic at sun and moon statues and then meets with this one at stairs for sacred jade forest. Last crystal is there. Okay, UK, please be careful. This one will. And chosen one friend should too. And forgives the Ayas for lying to friend. Just me and you. Okay, let's do it. Here we go.
It's time for you to become... Our blade once again. Purge the heretics. That defiled the spiritual cycle of this planet for their own selfish purposes. They dare to confine us inside these statues. Just to rule with tyranny over everyone. But the most grievous scene is that... They betrayed us. Heal the core, but first... Wipe this city from existence. Like a stain washed away from the fabric of space and time. I will heal the core, sure. But all these people... Hush now, child. There's no time to waste. Why? 
Why do I always have to suffer like this? All I wanted was to do the right thing and... The city is collapsing, my sweet child. Hurry to the core. And remember, once you reach it... I will fix everything, okay? Okay, okay. I can fix this. I can save everyone. Jade Forest. This is where Gao Chao and the Yuke Swan gather the sacred sap. To devour it, pursuing eternal life. He will pay for everything he did. sins. Welcome, fake savior. Can I present you my pet, the great Shinren? What the? He enslaved the Guardian?
like you. Sensation. I feel like I've been sleeping for months. Wait, where am I? Sun, moon, please bring me back to Huav. I need to... Calm down, Chosen One. You've saved everyone. There's nothing to be afraid of. That's impossible. Everything was collapsing. UK and... Mila! Where is Mila? Your dear friend is safe. Just tell me where she is. We understand you're shocked about what happened, but believe us. Your friend is well and not far from here. She still hasn't recovered from the landing. We are weak, dear child. We can teleport the both of you, but we can't make you appear in the same spot. I need to find her. What is this place? You are in the dark abyss of Mazdam, the planet of water. We can sense the cores on the surface, protected inside an ancient fortress. Dear child, be prepared to... I have to find Mila first. You are right, chosen one. Find her and save Earth. Do it for your home. Do it for Mila. Do it for her loved ones. Anything particular near you? Nothing, except a gigantic monstrous skeleton. I can see it. Listen. the local welcome committee. How delightful.
these underwater? Sure, why not? city to reach you. I could try to sneak through. No, you're unarmed. It's too risky. Wait for me by the giant skeleton, just like we said. I'm in a hurry, and... Welcome to Phalanx, stranger. My name is Stam, and we've been waiting for you. The last time someone told me they were expecting me, it didn't end well. Explain yourself. Our fortune tellers have spoken about this moment for years. Chosen one. And what a wonderful gift you bring. Listen, I don't want trouble. Just let me pass your pretty Pacific village, okay? Our king wants to thank you personally. I really, really appreciate this honor, I think, but I have no idea what... We insist. Okay, okay, if I'll go to your king, will you let me pass? Of course. You have my word. I need chosen. I don't think I have much choice, then. Enter the throne room when you are ready. Wait, that is the throne room? That gigantic skeleton? Fate has a strange sense of humor. Yeah. And once again, I might die laughing. I 
been expecting you. As it was predicted, your arrival brought heat and our triumph over the people of the surface. What? We couldn't reach the surface before, but now the ice has begun to melt and the sea level has risen. I... All the ascending winds and typhoons on Wav are empowered by the energy of Ume, the fire planet. Gao Chao needed more energy to make the city of Wan Mei fluctuate and reach the Jade Forest. The other planets have become colder by losing that energy. But now that Wan Mei has collapsed, that energy has been freed. The ice of Mazdam started to melt, and with it, the sea began to rise. You really did us a favor back there, Chosen One. Thanks to you, our invasion has begun. And our victory is near. Now we will be able to finally enslave the soft people that live on the surface once and for all. Join us. With your power and my majesty, no one will be able to stop us. Never. I'm not going to help a slaver and his senseless massacre. I'm afraid it's too late. You have already helped me, remember? Verdiers, my loyal guards, throw them in a special chamber. Maybe they will learn some discipline there. No, we must help the people of the surface. What? We don't even know who lives above here. But first, I have some anger to vent, and a bunch of dirty slavers is the best way to do it. What a stupid, silly child. Soldiers, it's time to have fun. But don't finish her. Not yet. I'm an expert at dethroning tyrants. in my village. Uh, well, I had to let the Durst capture me to uh, let my people escape. Well, I hope they're safe now. That's all my fault. What about you? How'd you end up here? My world is dying, and I've been given the chance to save it, but every choice I make, every obstacle I face makes everything and everyone around me suffer, despite my powers. 
I'm supposed to be here to heal the planet's core and restore its balance. But here I am. Great success. Oh, I'm sorry, landlubber. You seem uh, torn inside. Today, this girl is the keeper of balance. She must be the catalyst we were waiting for. Keeper of balance, my socks. I'm just a bad replica of a superhero. Wait, a catalyst? Oh, this girl. <laughs> Are you sure, Yiraj? Yeah, she seems so small and fragile. No offense. Is there a planet in this galaxy where people are capable of explaining themselves? Listen, we have a plan to get rid of these dirs once and for all. I, you must help us. Trust me, you don't want my help. You need to reach the core, right? Well, my people have a settlement not far from it. Help us and I'll help you back. You have my word. Fine. Good! Now we have to find a way to get out of here. But, uh... My name is Mila, but you can call me your get-out-of-jail-free card. Mila? How did you... Why, is this creature a friend of yours, lad? Her friend? I'm the only being in the universe that can stand this damn brat. I tried to contact you and Sun and Moon, but it seems the electroshock temporarily made it impossible. I'm so happy to see you. You'll be happier after I set you free. Whoa! I like the sound of that word. Now let's get out of here. I know a way out. There's a geyser not far from here. We can use its stream to reach the surface. So, will you help us, little bubble? Accept it, and I'll take you to the core. I don't have any choice, right? Quick, we don't have much time. Right, let's go. It's important for us to 
please? I beg you. I can't carry another burden like this. was a hell of a ride. Freeze! Freeze? Really? Whoa, hey! I'm a friend of Sven. We escaped from the deers, and now I'm here to help you. We should kill him here, Gondor! Oh, come on. Do I seem like a fish to you? Look, these are real legs. Mila can even dance. Show them, Mila. I'd rather die. Thanks. You could be a deer ally. Sent here to enslave the last of us. How do I know you didn't kill Sven? Hmm? I can assure you that killing this little bubble would mean losing our last chance to get rid of the Durs, brother. Sven! Brother, you alive? Yes, thanks to Avril and her friend Mila. How's the situation here? We had to push away some of the small groups of enemies, but they are starting to get more violent and organized. We can't resist this way for long. I see. But there's still hope. I have to talk to Thor. Avril, Mela, come to me when you're ready. I'm sorry for the rough welcome, Avril. These are not the best times to pop out of the water. But, well, thank you for bringing Sven back to us. It's okay. You were just doing your job. Thanks, Avril. Child. Our connection is restored. Sun! Moon! We heard everything, but you couldn't hear us. Keep going, young Avro. The core is not that far. So those are the humans called Avril and Mila. 
Yeah, they helped me escape from the Durves. I would have died without them. I see. My name is Thor, and I'm the captain of the Fleckies. First of all, let me thank you. Your help has been decisive for my boys and our colony. So then, Thor, you are the hero of balance. Is it true? I am, and I'm here to heal your core and restore balance. The core is kept in the fortress just outside the village. But first, we need to talk to you. This is Amka, one of the Glatide Elders. If you are the Keeper, then all of the Drawers sent you. We need your help to get rid of these deers. The plan Yiraj told me about. I know what the deers do to your people. And I promised Yiraj I'll free each one of you. Uh, I'm afraid that's not an option. The Durs will come back, like they always do. What we kindly demand is a more radical solution. The enemy is hiding our elders somewhere nearby. They are an enormous source of energy for the Deers. For centuries, the Deers have been enslaving my people, using our energy for their unspeakable purposes. Constantly living magically linked to us. Now we will end every deer's physical life using all our people's energy combined. I don't like where this is going. Our elders will resonate with every single planet on the planet, making them shine in a final burst of energy, burning every deer, and making us ascend to the drawers in a new form of existence. And we need the right being to be our catalyst. Someone like you. No! Remember what you promised, dear Ash. I promised to save you all, not to erase all your race from existence. We believe death is only the end of our material existence, yes. But it is also a gateway to something different and beautiful, nearer to our cosmic essence. Do not worry. I don't know if I can. We won't force you, Afro, but this is the only way to end this once and for all. But this is madness! Captain, if only I could enter the fortress and get to the core! Everything will be magically resolved, I know, I know! But what if you fail and perish? What if you leave us here facing this horror? The deers have been a blight for centuries. We can finally stop this! Captain, our scouts reported the enemy is gathering a huge attack group ready to storm the glacier! this ritual. Brave decision, Avril. It's a real tragedy to see such a pure culture emulating themselves, but... We will die, but the planet and future generations will breathe. Follow me, little bubble. I'll explain every detail on the road. Where are we going? To the ancient Glatid's territory. There's one thing we must do if we want the ritual to work. Glatted clans have a sort of a mental connection. A very powerful link that, well, keeps them all together. They share the same joy, the same pain, but most importantly, the same energy. We need to let you join their hive mind, and well, this is the only place where we can do it. Find the three clans' totems and resonate with them. You'll be connected with every Glatton alive on the planet. 
Once your communion is done, we need to get to the main altar, where you will unleash your energy. Killing all the Glatards. And freeing the planet from the dirt. Those monsters are parasites. They use the Glatters to survive. Uh, listen, little bubble. I know it's hard, but this is their will. A gift for the generations to come. Avril, I know this is horrible, but if we stop, the deers will be able to reach the core easily. Yes. Listen to your friend, young one. Remember, saving Mazdam means saving Earth. More blood on my hands? This is a freaking nightmare. What the? Oh, I uh, almost forgot. Six the Galactus left, and the uh, place is quite the best. Why didn't you tell me before? Very well, you did not. until you resonate with all three totems. Why did the Glatons abandon their territories? Uh, they didn't abandon anything. They were taken as prisoners. <laughs> torn away from their home by the dirt. <laughs> Here's a totem. I had sense you were chosen one. I speak in the name of the Indigo tribe. Desperation. How could they live like that? Now you understand. Come, let's end this aura. Let's go back to the altar. then.
destruction. Yeah, we're saving Earth, but at what cost? All these burdens on my shoulders are just too much to bear. Why are you worrying so much, child? You restore balance and... Shut up! Just shut up! I'm sorry. Let's just keep going. a carpet of dead bodies. I don't want to know anything about it. Ugh. I'm sorry, Avril. For the next hundred tides to come, we will mourn for the price of our liberation, and your name will echo in our kids' bedtime stories. Now, I'm a Flecky, and my word is everything. Take this. It's the key to entering the fortress. It is said that it reads your heart and makes you face the darkest sides of your soul. I'm afraid you'll have to cross it if you want to reach the planet's core. Thanks, Captain. You are good sailors, humans. Good luck, little bubble. You'll need it. Go now. Did we go too far? Yes. Yes, you went too far. You went too far from home, Avril. We've been given the chance to save our planet, and you keep getting involved in things that put this gift at risk. You do remember Earth, right, Avril? Avril? Who was that? Let's find out. at this point. 
We're almost there. You will never be alone, Avril. We'll never leave you. All right. Another confrontation with my past. Great. And what about the ghost we saw at the entrance? It was the projection of the human god in the core. He oversees every guest's trial. A human guardian? Is it like a former chosen one? I doubt it, my dear. We don't know who that human is. Focus on your trial, child. Okay. Okay. Go now, young Avril. The first trial awaits you. Listen, I know how hard this must be for you, but we have to save home, right? Right. I'm just scared. This is just a memory. <sighs> hey, you! Voices. Um, I don't understand. Who are you? You forgot your father's and your mother's voice. That's not true! You forgot your origins. You forgot your home. No!
You again? Wait! for your loss, witnessing the end of the world. If I had died that day, you would have lived this life of suffering and darkness. Did I free you from this pain? Carrying this weight in your place? Should I be ashamed of thinking like that? Now that I think of it, if I tried to save everyone so hard, it's because I wanted to give meaning to your sacrifice. But in the end, this desire caused so many disasters to everyone I met. <sighs> Everything is so wrong. Without you, <laughs> I 
will never leave you. Hey! Hey! Is it all okay? No, it was terrible. I witnessed what happened on Earth once again, and you were so angry at me. It was a vision. I was here all the time waiting for you. It doesn't matter. Being there reminded me of the reason why we're fighting for our home. You are ready for the next trial, chosen one. Sheila.
hadn't the chance to thank Chosen One. Thanks, because Friend understood this one's revenge. Thanks for destroying this one's enemies, hopes, and dreams. By bringing silence over Yuxuan, City of Lies. But even after all of this, this one can't forgive Friend. Because Friend betrayed everyone and destroyed all Huav. What are you talking about? I saved Huav. I saved everyone. Chosen One is liar. Liar. Liar! Please, someone tell me we saved Huav. I needed to know I saved Huav. Answer me. trusted you with his soul, thinking that you would make a difference. But your forgiveness was tainted with malice. The same malice that brought us destruction. What are you talking about? I healed your planet. Even after all this time, your naivete is still intact. A ruthless destroyer, hidden beneath a cloak of egoism. If only he could see you now. No, I don't need to panic. You are a dirty illusion who's trying to make me feel guilty. Even though you ruined the life of everyone, I'm happy. Because today, you'll pay for your arrogance and the misery you brought upon my people. We did everything we could to help you. And in exchange, you bowed to your own arrogance. I hate you. I hate you so, so much. If I didn't despise you so much, you would almost look cute in your own misery. takes a fool to trick another. I'm getting really tired of this nonsense. Then why don't you just look inside your own soul? Why don't you try to open that black tiny door inside of it? What are you talking about? My brother was right. You were the real friend of nature. That's why I tried to stop you. It was for the good of my people. What? You tried to stop me because I was dangerous for the planet? I also wanted your powers, of course, but yes, you are the most dangerous being in the universe. A blind beast who devoured everything we ever loved.
fixed each planet by reaching the core. I restored balance. Why is everyone raging at me by telling me I destroyed their home? Because that's exactly what happened. And my mission is to lead you towards the truth. Only then will this planet be able to reclaim peace. I'm here to save this damn place, not destroy it. Oh, really? And yet death follows everywhere you go. How can you be so blind? You stupid... Stop toying with my mind! Welcome back, Chosen One. Looks like you survived. Eve? Are you okay? You're trembling. Yes. I'm alright. Don't worry. We can sense the seas of doubt within your soul, sweet Avril. You should. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? I saved them, and yet they all hate me. Those are just illusions, my dear. Created to test your will. Stand tall and don't fall for those dirty tricks. But they do feel so real. And it's true. I made a mess everywhere I went. You did what you believed was the best thing for them and for our planet, so you don't need to feel guilty. I hope you're right, Mila. Whoa! What's the sound? The maelstrom that surrounds the core is weakening. It's time for your final test, Chosen One. Thank God this torture is over. No. The worst is yet to come. When you reach the top of the fortress, you'll face your worst fear. Whatever. I can't wait to punch that stupid guardian who toyed with my mind for so long. After this, you'll be strong enough to enter Lume and confront Soren. Your cause is just and your soul is pure, my sweet Avril. We couldn't be prouder. Finally, I'll be able to have my revenge. And it's all thanks to you. You believed in me until the end. I'll never forget this. be able to atone for every mess I made during this voyage. There you are. This time you won't be able to escape. As I suspected, those visions were not enough to push up Sun and Moon's festering influence from your soul. Time is of the essence, my dearest child. Strike down this fiend before. Even now, you're still trying to hide what kind of treacherous and selfish god you are, huh? Old habits die hard, I guess. Oh, wait. She can hear sun and moon? How? D don't tell me that. Yes, I was a chosen one, which is like you. Quick. 
Sun and Moon are lying to you. Grita and Huav were obliterated and absorbed within your amulets the moment you touched the core. They devoured every rock, every soul, and every hope of each person you've met, Avril. And of course, they refused to get you back to see if everyone was all right, because otherwise you would have rebelled, just like Soren and I did. They are the protectors of humanity. Why would they do something like that? Sun and Moon protected us because they feed on our planet energy. But of course they became greedy and took too much energy at once, causing the core to become unstable and ready to explode. The only way to save Earth was to salvage energy from other planets who contained fragments of the human soul. Knowing that the death of Earth would mean their end, they decided that the only way to fix this mess was to steal the energy from other planets by absorbing their cores and everyone who lived in them. Since the core was too unstable, they had to remain on Earth and elect a keeper of balance, an avatar who would do their bidding. The first one was Sorn, a man with an extreme sense of justice and a peerless love for life. At first, he carried out his mission with pride. But after discovering that saving his planet would mean the sacrifice of countless innocent lives, he decided to banish them from his soul by stealing the powers they gave him to protect those same aliens he was supposed to destroy. Because of this, Sun and Moon lost their bodies and most of their energy. And since no one was looking after the stability of our core anymore, half of Earth was destroyed. So it was Soren's fault in the first place. He was the one who betrayed us. No. He rebelled against our masters, knowing that it was the only way to free us from their chains. And he also avoided millions of deaths on every other planet. My sister would never defend a monster like Soren. They were right. You're just an illusion. You still don't get it, huh? I'm the real Rose. The same one who became the second Keeper of Balance right after I saved you when our home was collapsing. To enact their revenge, they chose you as my successor, knowing that you would be way more gullible and easy to control. They took me from the brink of death. They asked me to save Earth and kill Soren. But once I learned the truth from him, I decided to betray them as well and become a guardian. You filthy traitor. You force us to do things we don't want to. She means to disappear. Do it for me. Dearest friend. M Mila! What are you doing to her? See? Now be a good girl. And kill her. So, it has to be this way. Very well. I'm sorry, Averil. <laughs> Let's end this charade. Why? I had to cut Sun and Moon's influence. She's fine. Let me see you as well, sister.
as well for everything that happened. Then I'll settle this once and for all. Let's go, Mila. It's time to end this madness.
No, I think the doctor what Rose did to me. They can't hear us anymore. I'm still alive just because of their powers, but it, it won't last for long. And that's why maybe we should absorb this core. I'm sorry about Rose, but... What? Are you siding with them? Did you forget that they lied to us? I hate them. But they are right about one thing. If we want to save Earth... Rose died because of them, and that's all you worry about? It's rude, but sometimes the end justifies the means. And that's the other option. Siding with Sworn to kill Sun and Moon? In that case, my parents will die, and humanity will become extinct. But in the end, it's your choice. Ave, I'll be at your side until the very end. you make. There must be a way to do both. I just need to... <laughs> no, there isn't. And you must deal with it, or you will crumble. 
I'm just an average human. How can I possibly bear all of this? Do you know why I called you here in the first place? To offer me tea and laugh at my sorrow? No, because even though you are just a mere mortal, you have the power to reshape reality. You're not the keeper of balance. You're the chaos bringer, a typhoon that will smash destiny through imperfection. <laughs> I'm not following you. What am I supposed to do in the end? I can tell you. Free will, remember? <laughs> Goodbye, Avril. It's been a real pleasure. Wait. his spirit long ago, and now it's just a decaying spirit with no purpose. What? Why did he do that? Because he was the only one who could stop him from becoming the next guardian of Lume. As we said before, he's not a hero. He's just a lost soul who lives just to enact his vengeance against us. Okay. Are we ready to roll? Be the toughest battle of your life. Yes, please, Mila. Stand by me one last time. Of course, Abe. Let's do this. For Rose, and for everyone who lost their life because of this madness. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it almost looks like you grew up, Abe. All the lives we took, all the 
pain we endured lead to this moment. It's time to show who we are, Ave. Yeah. One final battle, and then this nightmare will finally end. to settle the score and make my final decision. Finally, we have enough power to smite this treacherous vermin. Do you really think you can escape from our righteous wrath, you filthy mortal? Quite the opposite. I was waiting for this moment. Come now. I can't wait to send everyone to the hell you belong. Wait, I... I need to know something first. There's no time for that. Hurry before. Shut it. Tell me, Soren. Did you let Earth die on purpose? Yes. Earth was doomed anyway. But I couldn't sacrifice the life of countless innocents. It's a mere matter of number. One planet for the sake of many others. And even if I wanted to, it was just a matter of time before those two bastards would consume all of Earth's energy once again. So it's true. He's the one who let the apocalypse happen. You let billions of humans die. You know that? Me? No. The real culprits are the ones who stand beside you. Don't listen to this wretched demon. We will never let the apocalypse happen again. We care about our children. Did you know that Rose was my sister? Of course. She talked about you all the time. And just like her, you still have the time to make the right choice. Join me, Avril, and together we'll stop the domain of the gods and claim our freedom. We would never let our child abandon our sweet embrace and betray her own planet. Now go, child. It's time to fulfill your destiny. Abe, I think it's time to make a decision. If I side with Soren, Rose and everyone will be back. But that would mean the end of Earth. If I side with Sun and Moon, my hands will be stained with blood forever. But at least Mila and I will have a home again. This decision will shape the galaxy forever. What should I do? Okay, I'll do it. Good girl. Now 
go ahead and do our... Thank you, Rose. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain. them so much. You'll absorb the core for us, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry, child, but this time it won't be painless. Through the, the blazing fury of the sun and, and the malicious shade of the moon, our black, black desire sun. manifests in the form of the, the grim, grim eclipse. eclipse.
Come on, Abe. You need to stand up. At least now everyone will be back. No. If we want to save everyone, first you'll have to absorb the core. What? But if I do that... Trust me, it's the only way. you absorbed and then withered to restore Earth, which is now vibrant and alive. They look so hollow. Is there a way to heal them? Bury your past and give them back their energy. That's the only way to do it. God, this is going to be rough. This must be the core of Regia. Where everything started. I can't believe how naive I was when I dragged Mila into this hell. We went to Grisha only to destroy it. But Kahilis, Shima, and all the others were so kind to me. I tried so hard to protect them, but in the end, Kahilis died because I saved Padara and the destroyers instead. It was Izanak's fault. But I can't wash away the feeling that I'm guilty as well. Carador even shared a part of his dream with me. Thinking that I could save them all, I thought I was some sort of god who could bring peace and happiness. But in reality, I'm just a stupid teenager who caused a massacre. Back then, I truly believed that I was going to save Grisha as well. That's what kept me going. That's what... <sighs> this must be the core of the where we met Yuke and we lost contact with Sun and Moon. Yuke may have lied to me. But I can't stop thinking about everything we did together. I even supported his plan to kill everyone inside the city. How did I become so ruthless and vengeful? Things got even worse when we entered the city and we met Gao Chao. Yeah, that bastard was the one who caused the rapture on Huav. Yuke even sacrificed his life for me. Thinking that I would really fix the planet and save his people. Thinking about what happened there, it... It hurts. It hurts so much. It might be selfish, but the only thing I can do to atone is to give meaning to their sacrifice. This should be the core of Miles Dom. The planet where I killed my... I killed... <laughs> this is where she opened my eyes, and where I tried to stop those cruel fishes from hurting the Flecky. In the ocean, I swore to free the Glottods from their slavers. Another empty promise that I gave only to feel less guilty for what I did on other planets. But instead, they sacrificed everything to protect the Flecky, to break their chains through an act of kindness. They didn't need me. They never did. And then I reached the fortress, the place where everything I believed in crumbled. You tried to show me the way, but I was too weak to see. This is the core of Nibu, the place where I made the hardest choice of my life. Rose wanted me to stop this nonsensical onslaught and restore peace across the universe. Mila wanted to heal the messy and rotten place that we call home, no matter the cost. But in the end, it all came back to me. The same girl who was tricked by everyone she met due to her desire to save everyone. The day I lost my parents, I felt the same feeling of hopelessness. Then Rose hugged me and said, Amor vincit omnia. Love conquers all. I didn't understand why, but it made me feel better. I thought that no matter how bad things could be, love could always save me. 
It gave me a reason to live, to fight, and to become the person I wanted to be, a person that could change the world. However, love isn't pure. It's a mixture of pain, regret, hope, and melancholia. But in the end, it always brings us forward, despite our mistakes. The destruction I brought about can't be undone. But maybe, and I say maybe, life will still find a way to cast a tiny light of hope upon us, despite all the mess we made. This is for you, sis. And also for everyone who suffered because of me. Now that the ritual is complete, it's finally time to say goodbye. Yeah, thank you for everything you did for me. It's been a pleasure, darling. And believe me when I say that your true task has yet to begin. before I got my powers. But Tora, is this another one of your tricks? Avril? Avril? Can you hear me? Mila? Mila? I'm here. She can't hear you now. Not inside this endless oblivion. Long time no see, sis. Rose? I... I don't even know where we are, but I... I'm so happy right now. We are in a spiritual crossroad that was created after you destroyed Sun and Moon. It became a direct pathway between Earth and the other planets. A special place held by the remnants of your former powers. Thanks to it, everyone will be able to travel freely through the universe, creating a new era of peace and coexistence. Aliens coming to Earth? How? As the Torah told you, Earth was created from the essence of each elemental planet. Sun and Moon's original plan was to use their energy to restore our home. So after you absorbed them, they merged within the core of our planet, becoming a whirlwind of shared dreams and hopes. They learned about us. They became us. And that's why they will surely help us to rebuild Earth soon enough. They would help? After everything I did to them? Whatever, I just want to be with you now. She must be nearby. I can feel it. Mila? And wait, who's that guy? That's Soren. He lost all of his powers after the defeat of the Eclipse. <laughs> he looks even edgier now. Listen, I need to go back and tell them I'm okay. I can help you with that. But then we won't be able to meet again. What? No! Why? I lost my physical body when we fought, but my soul survived. Since this is the last remnant of Sun and Moon, I can still maintain some of my powers here. You still have some of them as well, but once you reach Earth, you'll lose them along with the chance to meet me again. No, there must be a way. Listen, sis, as long as I stay here, I'll be able to live and watch over you all. Go back to Earth and enjoy the peace you created. But I want to be with you. Why does it always have to be like this? If you truly wish we could unite our souls and become one, I'd love to protect the universe together, but do you really want to leave Mila and the others alone? <sighs> alone? No. No one shall ever be alone again. I always acted as a defender, trying to shield those who needed me. But all I did in the end was hurt everyone I met. Because every time I had to make a choice, I felt like someone was pushing me to do what they wanted. But this time, it will be different. This time I will choose by my own will. I'm sure that Mila and the others will understand. That's my little sister. Let's do it then. Let's protect our new haven. Are you ready? Yeah. We will be the defenders. So that egoism will never rule again. must be nearby. What the? Is that her? Hey, no! <laughs> Just 
remember that even if we don't meet again, you shall never be alone.